Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Cancers. Hello, my Cancers. How are you? Well, this is the weekend reading, and you know I use my two Bradley Valentine decks. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main reading, and then I use my um, Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now, I pull one card from that. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, we have a couple of things really going on. Um, well, I did post something about Pisces season on my community page and my, Fed, and my um, Facebook page, but... We have a lot of twos on Saturday, and then we have a new moon in Pisces on Sunday. So remember, full moon to new moon is the waning moon, and that's when you release, and that's when you get rid of things. New moon to full moon waxing, start asking. So this new moon is a really good time for you to really clean clean up the energies around you, and especially around Pisces. Pisces has a sensitivity to... To, to the natural, but it also has a sensitivity to the supernatural. So it's good to pull in, you know, that type of energy and do some connection with that higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is. Now, remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, so what that means is I open myself up to my higher power spirit, and whatever the message is, it comes on out. Three cards, all face down, nothing's reversed. Here we go for cancer. The star, the star, happy times, good wishes, make a wish. This is a great time, especially for this Sunday energy, um, to put it out there. Put it out there. What is it that you want, my cancers? Do you know what you want? Great time for this. But this is also, it, it's not quite the wish card, but this is that card that says, be hopeful, keep your thoughts positive, keep your words positive, put it out there into that universe, into our universe. Give this up to your higher power, whoever that is to you. So this is Archangel Jophiel. Again, your archangels, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. So are those things that we've been waiting for as the divine timing keeps moving, as that, you know, as that big clock and that second hand keeps moving kind of slow? This is, again, a time for you to, um, it's all, I feel, you know, the word like it's like rejoice is like have some fun. Just get out there and enjoy your life, but also have optimism. Think that there is things beyond, okay? Next card up is the five of air. Air energy, thought processes, changes. This is our Gemini, our Libra. It's also our Aquarius energy, but these are changes, positive, negative, neutral. It really doesn't matter. They're all stressful, but this is again too, you know, this is your thoughts. This is hearing news. So there is, so we have a little bit of a conflict here. Here we have some divine energy saying, make your plans, trust, trust in that divine. And then we have this more thought process saying, oh my gosh, you know, kind of second guessing you a little bit. So who are you going to trust? Are you going to trust the divine or are you going to trust your own thoughts? That's a good question. It's something you need to think about. An unwise choice, learn from what you learn what you can from the situation, review everyone's motives. Your last card is the three of water. So here again, we have this conflict. The three of water is your sign. It's also Pisces and Scorpio um, energy. And you know, it's fluid emotional. And this is about celebrating. This is about rejoicing. This is about having joy in life. So what's going on between the star and the three of water? This is wonderful, positive, lovely, let's have a party type of energy. Let's have hope for the for the future. And then this five of air is like, yeah, but what if? But what if? Yes. You know, this is this is probably one of those times that's going to be, or this one, you know, well, not one of those times. This is kind of what we need to do a lot of times where we need to um, kind of 
take it day by day. So this could be a very good take it day by day. Be cautiously optimistic. How's that? Does that fit with your paradigm a little bit more so? But the three of water is a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. Okay? So let's go to our, you know, so again to, you know, well, we're going to go to our um, Archangel Power Tarot cards. But again, to it is... Um, you know, lots of positive, positive energy around you, my cancers. It's, it's just, you know, a lot of times you second guess yourself. You got to work with that. Again, this two, 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 two. I know it's not all those twos, but there's a lot of twos in there. Is going to have some um, interesting energy. And, okay, card come out. Now, very interesting here, too. Um, this is, I'm seeing this for the water energies too. A lot of this reading is very similar to Pisces reading. So you might want to, you know, kind of take a look at that, especially if you have any Pisces in your, you know, like your, your rising, ascending, your moon, your, um, your Venus, you know, it's always good because these are very, very similar cards, but yet different. Okay. Your last card face up reversed and here we have the nine of Ariel okay Ariel is our earth energy this is our um, Taurus our Virgo our Capricorn solid energy something that you can touch this is very much like the dream card it's not the wish card per se but you got the star the star is saying have some wishes the three of water is saying have some fun it's uh, it's good it's time for celebration you know, the five of air is all in your head right now. Well, you know, you know, you know, I'm not saying that it's totally in your head. I mean, we do have to live in, we do have to live in the natural here too. But, um, you know, so you do have to look at the pros and cons of your decisions. So, you don't, you know, you do have to weigh that and balance that. But then we have the nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. So here we have the dream card. And this is kind of, you know, with the star, three of water, the dream card, it's like anything's possible for you, my cancers. Okay? Really good energy for you. Um, don't worry so much about Mercury retrograde. This is this is kind of a, um, you know, th this is a kind, I, you know, kind of a time for you to just to revision, to rethink, to just kind of um, re, you know, I, I've, I think I've said this before, rebrand yourself. This is where, um, you know, like I said, dreams, could, this is a really good energy for dreams. Dreams are possible. Okay. Okay. So my cancers, if you enjoy my readings, remember down there, like, share, subscribe. But as always, my cancers, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.